ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर विल ओके ऑनरेबल मेंबर मिस चंद्रानी मुर्मू जी थैंक यू चेयरमैन सर फॉर गिविंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्केड्यूल ट्राइब्स ऑर्डर थर्ड अमेंडमेंट बिल 2022 The so scheduled tribes have been defined in clause 25 of Article 366 of the Constitution as such tribes or tribal communities or parts of or groups within such tribes or tribal communities as are deemed under Article 342 to be scheduled tribes for the purpose of this Constitution. The first list of scheduled tribes was notified in respect of various states and union territories. Wide the Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order 1950. So this bill seeks to amend the Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order 1950 to modify the list of scheduled tribes in the state of Himachal Pradesh. The bill includes the Hathi community of Transgiri area of Sirmur district in the list of scheduled tribes in Himachal Pradesh. Sir, so I, on behalf of my party Biju Janata Dal, welcome this bill. so this bill expands the possibility of inclusion of more tribes and sub tribes under scheduled tribes category this will definitely ensure their development the tribes in india form an important part of the total population it represents an element in indian society which is integrated with the culture of our civilization the tribal population of india constitutes nearly 8% of the total population there are a number of tribes in india spread over different parts at different levels of socio economic development it is essential to connect them with the mainstream society tribes in india face a lot of difficulties such as poverty economic and technological backwardness basic education and healthcare system moreover geographical isolation and illiteracy among the tribals comes in the way of the development of these communities at times tribal space discrimination and exploitation so sir it is very crucial for us to recognize the fact that the tribal communities still need the constitutional status of sts scs and specific programs to preserve their culture language upliftment of livelihood to ensure their advancement and social justice sir odisha being the third largest tribal populated state in the country the government of odisha has recommended more than 160 communities of the state to the ministry of tribal affairs government of india for their inclusion in the st list of the state with approval of tribal advisory council among these some are, some of our new entry, entries some others are sub tribes synonyms and phonetic variations of the existing st communities residing in different parts of the state who are being deprived of the benefits availed by sts though they have the same tribal characteristics as their respective notified sts sir particularly nine communities of odisha has been recommended for inclusion in the st list of the state on priority basis such as uh, bhokta durwa kalanga nakasia pawa khandayat bhuya tamdia chapua kamar kandhia but sir no clarity has been provided on the progress of these proposals sir two particularly vulnerable vulnerable tribal groups communities such as chukutia bhunjia and paudi bhuya have not been included as yet in the scheduled tribe list sir honorable chief minister of odisha sri navin patnaik sir through his letter dated 19th february 2021 has also suggested that for further deliberations on the matter a quadri partite committee may be set up with the representatives of ministry of tribal affairs registrar general of india anthropological survey of india government of odisha sir a task force under ministry of tribal affair had recommended uh, nine proposals from odisha as priority cases in the sls to be included uh, the state in the year 2014 but the same is yet to be uh, decided because uh, delayed in the notified order 
presidential order sir therefore i would uh, request uh, you to kindly look into the matter of these long pending uh, issues and expedite the scheduling of these left out communities to deliver social justice to them in accordance with the provisions of the constitution of india this shall go a long way in helping these deprived communities by giving them their much needed recognition as st and ensure social justice with this i would like to conclude thank you sir thank you honorable member shri girish chandra